safely. Well, New Mexico's weather's been relatively quiet here. We yeah. really need things to stir up. Where have those monsoons gone? We really do. It's very dry out there, and, you know, we're wrapping up the month of August, and we're still not seeing a lot of rain at all. Take a look at the radar. Very quiet across the state of New Mexico. Only one isolated shower showing up right now, and that's along the east slopes of the Sacramento's now. And it's nearly stationary, so really not moving, and it is dumping some heavy rain. But that's about all that's happening right now, and uh, we're going to continue to see mainly dry conditions for the next couple of days. So we're where is all the rain uh, for this past month of August? Most of us are well below where we should be. Farmington, the exception, three quarters of an inch of a surplus there, nearly an inch and a half over in Caymano, below where we should be for this time of the year. Also over in the southeast, Roswell, uh, nearly three quarters of an inch below where we should be. Clovis below normal there, too, about by about an inch. And over in Raton, about two inches below normal for August. Albuquerque, even three quarters of an inch or a little bit more than that below where we should be uh, for the month of August. And again, taking a look at the satellite and radar composite, plenty of dry air in place across the north and western part of the state. Uh, down the southeast, some moisture there. We could see a few pop-up thunderstorms uh, later on this afternoon, but that's really going to be about it, and that's going to be the trend for the next couple of days. Superstorm track will take us through the rest of today and through tomorrow. Again, watching for a few thunderstorms to pop up in the southeast while everyone else stays nice and dry and on the hot side with those highs running a little bit above average. Going into Wednesday should be a nice dry start for everyone. And then Wednesday afternoon, lots of sunshine across most of the state. Outside, a few thunderstorms popping up in the higher terrain in the south. That's really going to be about all that we see on Wednesday. The big story for the next couple of days is going to be the heat as temperatures continue to climb. 79 right now in the Duke City, 84 in Roswell, 90 degrees already in Clayton. And those temperatures are going to continue to climb with all of that dry air in place. But it is gorgeous out and it's not too humid either. For the northwest, mostly sunny today with highs mainly in the mid 80s in Farmington, upper 70s in Durango. It gets even hotter. We're topping out in the 80s Wednesday and Thursday with a chance for a few thunderstorms moving in as we head toward the end of the week. Big changes as we head toward the end of the week as the cold front will usher in some cooler temperatures for everyone. In the southwest today, partly cloudy with a few isolated showers. We'll top out in the middle and upper 80s there. In the southeast, a few scattered thunderstorms are possible with temperatures topping out in the upper 80s and low 90s. Roswell, we continue to heat things up into the mid 90s tomorrow, also on Thursday, and then cooler going into the weekend, only topping out in the mid 80s thanks to a cold front that will be pushing through on Friday. On north, in the northeast, partly cloudy with a few isolated thunderstorms here. Temperatures will generally be in the 80s too, so still above average. In the northern mountains, partly cloudy with a few isolated thunderstorms. We'll top out mainly in the upper 70s to low 80s there. Santa Fe, 83 the high today, staying dry through tomorrow. Then a few spot thunderstorms move in Thursday and Friday, and especially over the weekend, uh, with temperatures starting to drop back uh, as we head into the weekend there. And in the East Mountains, mostly sunny, nice and mild today, with highs in the low 80s. And for the metro, plenty of sunshine, highs in the upper 80s this afternoon, so a little above normal. It gets even hotter tomorrow and Thursday, and then those temperatures start to come back down again over the weekend, with temperatures only in the mid.